Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the PC Power and Cooling Silencer MK3 1200 Watt. This is a very odd way to lay out the text given you're supposed to read it in this order. I don't know if there's any culture on earth that reads things in this order, but you know, whatever. Um, it, the power supply is good enough that it doesn't really matter because this is basically the equivalent to like the boyfriend or girlfriend that has it all, like looks and brains and conversational ability and like the ability to like um, you know attract ducks with bread and when they throw it and just like all of it can do anything pretty much um, so yeah it has a seven year warranty 80 plus platinum efficiency it's got a modular interface that actually looks pretty baller so we're gonna have a closer look at this once we open it up and it has my favorite thing in the world a silent fan mode operation feature the fan does not turn on until it reaches 600 watts so that means this power supply is passively cooled up to 600 watts. It is also rated for its full output at a 50 degree ambient temperature. It has all Japanese solid caps that are rated up to 105 degrees Celsius. It uses a single powerful 12 volt rail. So it does have the usual industrial protections. However, if you are or you're not comfortable with that, you can always choose a multi-rail power supply. But for those of you who want that hassle-free, no matter what I plug something into, there won't be any you know, overcurrent protection that's triggered. This is pretty much the way to go. Up to 92% efficiency, although I think that's on 230 volt AC. Um, and honestly, that silent mode switch is like the be all and end all of features to me because for a power supply like this, where it gets up to 600 watts before turning on the fan, that means that even a fairly beefy gaming system with, you know, a single or a dual, even dual GPU cards is almost never even going to turn on your power supply. And if you're a silence aficionado like myself, then that's a big deal for you. Let me just see if I missed anything here. A large 140 millimeter fan and active power factor correction, all that good stuff. Ah, yes, silent mode. So it gives you a key of which switch position is which, which is good because on the power supply itself, it actually doesn't tell you. So uh, there you go. So the power supply itself, let's have a look at the physical attributes. You got your honeycomb mesh on the back. You got your power switch here. You got your silent mode switch here, power input. Very, very clean overall look and aesthetic. We've come, become used to this with PC power and cooling silencer products. So you got your white finish, which is extremely resilient and uh, hides scratches incredibly well because it's very matte. And like a matte white finish will actually hide blemishes way better than a matte black finish. It's also got the black and silver, or uh, rather platinum, black and platinum accents on it. Okay. And everything, even down to, see, these kinds of details make all the difference in the world. Everything down to the quality control stickers uses that same kind of color scheme. So it'll look really great in your system. Silencer MK3, got like a nice shiny badge there. There's your 140 millimeter dual ball bearing fan. And there inside are all those beefy heat sinks because you can have the most uh, efficient power supply in the world, but it's not going to be able to output 600 watts of power to your computer passively unless it's got some decent cooling inside. So the unit definitely has some weight to it. Now it's not fully modular, however, I personally don't find that to be the end of the world because all the cables that are on here, I hope, at least I think, oh that's rough, okay, almost all of the cables on here are ones that everyone will need anyway. So you've got two PCIe 6 plus 2 pins. You can have a look at the sleeving here. Decent sleeving. Not the best I've seen, but definitely far from the worst. So you're masking most of the color of those yellow cables, but not all of it. You've got a 6 plus 2 configuration, which is my favorite by far. And these are nice thin wires, so you'll be able to tuck this away pretty easily if you want, if you're only using, if you only require a 6 pin. Um, and they've got an additional cap down here, so I'm guessing that's helping with, uh, with power stability somewhat. And then your 24 pin is a 20 plus four. Again, wouldn't have minded seeing dark cables or somehow uh, stealth cables in some way, but again, the sleeving is not bad. So that hides a lot of the color there when you're doing your cable management. Now this is, uh, this is something I would have preferred to see just one permanently attached, your CPU uh, four plus four pin connectors. So most motherboards on the desktop anyway, only require one of those, which means that most people won't uh, won't need the two pre-attached. So that's one cable that most people are going to end up tucking away somewhere. Let's have a look at what we've got in terms of modular cables. I mean, it comes, okay, here, here, let's finish off with the accessories first. So it comes with a power cable, some, uh, you know, zip ties. You've got five of them in there, which will sort of 
go 30% of the way to uh, cable managing your system. It's okay, hopefully you can, if you can afford this power supply, you can probably go buy some black zip ties. Uh, some thumb screws, love to see these included with high-end power supplies because not every case includes thumb screws for mounting the power supply. So it's just, uh, it's nice to see those little finishing touches. Dear valued customer, thank you for this and uh, if you have any customer support issues, please contact us here. And finally, small instruction manual in a variety of languages. Now let's have a look at some of the modular cables. So we've got a 6 plus 2. We have a 6 plus 2. We have a 6 plus 2. And finally, just to shake things up a little bit, we have a 6 plus 2. So that means you have a total of 6 6 plus 2 pin power connectors, which means you can install either 3 graphics cards natively anyway. You can install 3 graphics cards that require 2 pin, 2 connectors, or you can do 2 graphics cards that each require 3 connectors. Or, I mean, if you wanted, you could have 6 graphics cards that each require 1 connector. But um, I really can't think of an application for that. Uh, some motherboards, though, will want like an extra 6-pin PCIe for auxiliary power, for example. And let's have a look at how these connect. So they've got little rubber dust or silicone dust covers on them. And then all you got to do is line up the, uh, the bump here with the bump on the inside. Plug that bad boy in, I think. Oh, right, so I said this is one of these. So some of them have four pins and some of them have five pins. So that'll go there. And then you put this ring on here. And it's plugged in. Very nice looking cables. So these ones are all black, unlike the pre-attached cables, which is all the more reason why I would have liked to see more modular cables on this one. Nice flat, all black ribbon cables, uh, terminated with heat shrink, and then again, terminated on this side with just all completely black, nice uh, ribbon cable mist. So these are, these are fantastic. The length is pretty good on all the cables on this power supply. This is one of the longest 24 pins I've seen in a while. It's almost exactly one Linus arm in length. And the eight pins, uh, for all their multitudinous, are also quite long, about one Linus arm in length. If anything, that 24 pin could probably be a little bit shorter without hurting anybody's feelings. Now, in terms of other modular cables, uh, not quite the selection that I'm used to seeing on high-end power supply. So you've got a single 4 mole X cable. So let's go ahead and just grab this out of here so that you guys can have a look, and we'll sort of judge the length and decide if it, uh, if it makes sense. So this is one of those... Uh, those five ones, so that'll go right there, okay, screw that in, so that should get, I mean, huh, most systems don't require much in the way of four pin Molex these days, and it's more than a Linus arm length, so you should be able to reach whatever you need to, but if you do need more Molex connectors, you will have to consider that about this power supply, although you can use splitters, it does come with one single four pin Molex to floppy connector adapter, again, nice black, looks very sleek, and then for SATA, you've got a four port harness, a four port harness, and another four port harness. So you can hook up to 12 SATA drives up to the power supply natively, and then you can run those cables up to three different places. Again, these look quite long, so in terms of cable management, you will be able to reach pretty much wherever you go with any of the cables that come with this power supply. So this is, again, well over a Linus arm length in terms of, uh, of overall length. I think that pretty much covers it. So the things to remember, seven year warranty, 80 plus platinum, the fan doesn't turn on until you reach 600 watts, and it is a 1200 watt single rail power supply. Thank you for checking out this unboxing and first look on Linus Tech Tips, and don't forget to subscribe.